I'm Chad with Peghead Nation, and today we're going to work on Rebecca, a wonderful uh, Herschel Sizemore mandolin tune. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and here's your seven. That's one of the nice things about the key of B is that on your five chord, you can drone that E. So you can These phrases are much like spoken language. Breath. And it's not a bad idea to just sing along with these things. It's a fun tuning to try to play around with because you can get a low drone off the low A and you can get a high drone off the high D. So. Cool. So I play my G and then I slide a little sharp before I go to my A. So you get this sound. These are the chords I've been playing that you saw a little earlier. They're the chords that make any mandolin player have a good bark, good chop. So let's look at what frets um, the fingers are playing in these Monroe chords. If I'm starting with a G chord, um, I'm going to be playing fret 2 on the A string with the first finger. That's a B note. It's helpful for me to think about uh, what the notes are illustrating. So in this case, I'm picturing this part of the phrase really being mostly about arpeggiating a D chord. This is a great pattern to practice for doing different syncopations later on. And also as an idea for backing up songs. So that's not a roll bass lick, it's really almost like a lick that a guitar player might play, moving from one note to another. There's lots of right hand repetition in this, uh, in this lick. In other words, two thumbs in a row, two indexes in a row. Check it out. I'll just play it banjo part without singing this time and see if you can hear the melody notes and how I put the basic strum in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Olabel Reed was one of the finest writers, singers, and banjo players in country music. And High on a Mountain was her biggest hit. So that's why we want to play it. I mean, it's a great tune, and it's got that mountain modal magic to it, that mountain modal sound. Here are the chords. We're going to play a C chord with no third. It's going to be just a root and a fifth. So you have the first string is fretted at the third fret, and so is the second string. Now right now I'm just barring that. You can use any of your fingers. Okay. So we're going to be playing out of a few different scale positions. We're going to start out over the E chord, which is where your scale starts on the 6th string and 3rd string. That's where you can find your root. Alright, I've got Scott Nygaard here to play some rhythm guitar. Now that you've learned Flannery's Dream, see if you can keep up with us. Thank you. 